Hi and welcome back to RC Life on everyone. My name is Simon and today I have my duct tape airboat with me. I'm going to try it out on the asphalt right here. But just to give you a quick recap of my components, I have a huge brushless motor on here and I have a tiny uh, speed controller. It's only 30 amp and I think this pulls at least 39 amps. Um, uh, unfortunately, I blew up my uh, 50 amp speed controller, so I'm trying this today. Um, but I'm driving it with uh, two 2200 Nanotax batteries, and uh, you could easily go with one battery, but you know, I want long drive time, so I've used two. And I have a gyro in here, and the gyro is actually not necessary, but uh, it keeps it. It keeps it a little bit more stable, so I'm using it. And I also have an orange receiver and a 17 gram Hobby King servo. And that keeps um, the, um, the rudder really locked in and it feels very good. So I can definitely recommend a bigger servo instead of the 9 gram servos. And basically, the construction is very simple. I will give you the uh, dimensions and uh, this is all there is to it is uh, foam and I covered it in duct tape. So I went to my local hardware store and I picked up this sheet of foam. It was really inexpensive so it should be basically free in the US or anywhere else. There's no real science behind these dimensions but if you use the same length and width as I did you will most likely have a good going airboat. I cut it out and I made a 45 degree bevel on all the edges except the back edge. Use some sandpaper to make the edges a little bit more soft and make sure you use a sharp knife while doing this. Start to cover the foam with the duct tape and make sure to push the front up while applying the tape as this will make the nose permanently pitch up and make it easier to go on the water and it even makes it look a little bit cooler. The result should look like this. These are the necessary components. There is a motor, EC, servo and a gyro. Even though the gyro isn't actually crucial, it will go just fine without it, but it makes it a bit easier to fight the wind and torque roll. I made a motor mount of some square wood and make sure you glue this in good, as the motor mount will be the first thing to hit the ground if you flip the airboat. Add a rudder, mount a servo, install the receiver and plug in the AC. Then you are done. Let's see how fast it really is.